Jay here. Welcome to my channel. This is crystal hunting. I call it crystal hunting. So the watch I've been working on, it's very beautiful old uh, pocket watch. Let me just show you what this thing looks like. There it is there. That is a gorgeous old watch. I got the hands fitted now. Um, I need to get this thing focused. I got the hands fitted now. See that? Look. Uh, so I got the set hands, the second hand, fit, everything's fitted. So this is in great shape. Let me put the lid on it like a good boy. And <clears throat> I have the case over here. You see in the lower video. And I have this mini bezel that kind of screws into the case. It's kind of really cool. I have a bunch of crystals here in the lower video. Tons of crystals here. I'll just get these out of the way. Put them on the floor. <clears throat> and then I've got... A few crystals here, <laughs> a few hundred crystals here, and then I've got some more crystals here that I bought from another time, a long time ago, and then I got some more crystals in here, and then I've got boatloads of crystals here. So I'm going to just hunt and see if I can find a crystal that fits this bezel. Glass, not glass, flat, I don't care. I just want it to fit. It's all I want. So I'll be back with my fitting, but man, do I have a lot of crystals, I'm telling you. All right, shut the front door. All right, shut the front door. Shut the front door. This is the second crystal I tried jumping into these crystals <laughs> and it fit. Okay, I got like a thousand crystals here. The second one I tried fit. That is just stupid. And that is a 19416 crystal. It's got no play either way. No play at all. It fits right into the bezel nicely. And I'm just rotating it a bit here so I can glue this down and you glue this down with glue that looks like. Let me grab some glue for you. I'll show you what it looks like. It is this type of glue right not here. <laughs> Shut the front door. Hypo cement. GS Hypo cement. I think. Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, somewhere this thing is made. So this is made in, well, this one here is made GS Supplies 1150 University Avenue, Rochester, New York. Rochester. Rochester. And here it is here. It's light stuff like that. I'm just going to show you how to glue that crystal in. I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to do it. All right. I've resurrected some tools here. I've got some gloves. You want to put gloves on for this because you don't want this alcohol to get on your hands. I don't know if it'll hurt your hands or not, but you just don't want it on your hands. So I've got these nice little black gloves. They're Michael Jackson gloves, actually. He'd only wear one. I'm wearing them all. So put these gloves on. And my watch check today for you guys. San Martin, 200 meter, beautiful watch. Beautiful, beautiful watch. I need to do a video on this watch because it is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm going to have to do a video on it. So here we go. So isopropyl alcohol. So what I want to do is take this crystal out. Just pop it out like this. Bam. That's a nice tight fit. This is a glass crystal. So you don't want to fart with it because it's a glass crystal and it can crack. But you want to rinse this in alcohol. So I got a little jar here I can use and put this crystal very easily, nicely into the jar. Let me just do that here. And I'm just going to throw the alcohol in the jar. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use a brush to brush the crystal. Now I know I'll be breathing in alcohol, but better than drinking it. Or is it? So comments welcome. Comments are welcome. So I'm going to grab a brush here. And I'm just going to start brushing this crystal. See if I can get all of the crap off of the crystal. The alcohol should get rid of that label. 
Um, if it doesn't, I'll just use something to get rid of the label. It smells like a hospital in here right now. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I wonder if this label will move. I don't want to crack the crystal though. Oh, look at that. Look at the alcohol work in the label. Look at that. Folks, the label is off. Puh, the label. Label gone. And I can just lay this on the desk because it will evaporate. So that's the label gone. And then I want to get this out of here somehow. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I threw it in and now I don't know how to get it out. Maybe if I use this little full plate tweaking device, right? I like using the alcohol because... First of all, the smell doesn't bug me. Secondly, look at that. Secondly, it does a great job cleaning the crystal. Thirdly, if there's a Lee in the thirdly, it also provides evaporation. It evaporates really easy. What is that? Is that on the other side? I think that's on the other side. I turn that around like that. See, I'm not afraid of this because I got my gloves on. Impenetrable. I could pick up plutonium with these gloves. I could pick up the stuff that turned Buddy Boy into the Hulk, Bruce Banner into the Hulk. I could pick that stuff up. That is, what is it? Gamma rays. I think I could pick up gamma rays with these gloves. I could pick up dog poo. I don't want to pick up dog poo. There we go. So that's done. It's clean. I'll just set this aside and let it dry. I can put it on my desk. It doesn't have to be anywhere special. I can be really anal retentive and put it on some watch paper. Look at this. I got some over here. So let's just throw this down on the watch paper. It'll absorb this. And then I don't want to waste this alcohol though. So I think I'll just drink it down. Just kidding. Just kidding. I'm going to take the alcohol and see if I can pour it back into this. That way I can reuse it. I just use it for the heating lamp anyway. So let me just, I'll pour this in, I'll be right back. All right, I got 80% of the alcohol back in the uh, jar, but the rest of it just will evaporate in moments. That's the great thing about alcohol. It's, it, what's the term when it evaporates quickly? It evaporates quickly, there's the term. So now I've got the, uh, the crystals here. Crystal City, baby. I can't believe that I was able to find this crystal so fast. That was just stupid. I reached in, I looked, I eyeballed it, I grabbed the crystal, I said this could be the right size, and it just was the right size. It was amazing. I was laughing because I thought I'd be here half an hour looking for the right crystal, and then at the end of it I'd be disappointed. But I do have a lot of these crystals. These are European watch crystals They uh, for European pocket watches. European, and I'm a pooin. <laughs> I got a stupid sense of humor today. I apologize for you people out there. So it's a Saturday, and I'm not at work, and I'm relaxing. Okay, so if you're out there and you're a professional, um, as I am, and you're doing work like this, you can joke around occasionally. Okay, just have to watch David Letterman. He does it all the time, and he isn't even on TV anymore. So there we go. I think that's done. There's still a little bit of liquid in the end here. And what I'll end up doing is cleaning this off with Rodico as well. Just to make sure there's nothing left on the crystal. I want to make sure this is absolutely dry as well so I can I can puff it dry. I'll just throw these... Uh, I'll just get rid of the wash paper here. I don't need that anymore. And I can just get my puffer out here and give it a couple of huffs and puffs and blow your house down. I also have liquid air here, but I can do this and that'll dry the crystal. You want the crystal to be super dry before installing it, right? And I will have to clean this crystal as well to make sure that it's not dirty because right now I can see smudges and stuff on it. There's some stuff on the corner right here that I don't like. But I know I can use Rodico to get rid of some of this stuff. Because Rodico is man's best friend. And you can get rid of a lot of crap with Rodico. Even the inconsistencies in crystals will evaporate with Rodico. Let me have a look at what, whether that worked or not. Oh yeah, it worked. So I can just very lightly touch the crystal like this. 
with the rotico, and some of this is on the inside, I think, of the crystal and not on the outside. It's right here. So I can just clean that up. I want to get it as clean as possible. That way, when I install the crystal, I'll be gluing it down with this GS cement. And you can use it for gluing glass or plastic. It works quite well. Yeah, this is still a little bit smucky. I'm going to see if I can just scrape it with my fingernails. I'm wondering whether that what type of stuff is on this crystal because it might be ancient material. Let me look at that. Is that ancient material? Oh, maybe. Could be from the Aztecs. What do you think? Again, I'm not sure what side of the crystal this is on. No, this is on the other side. It's a little brown area right on the inside of the crystal. It doesn't want to come off. Now, the alcohol didn't take it off. Now, I know lighter fluid might take it off. So we're going to go with lighter fluid. We're going to do the same thing again, but I'm going to pour a little bit of lighter fluid on there. And that'll evaporate as well. So let me go get some lighter fluid. I'll be right back. Try that out. Now, if I was really smart, I'd be wearing a mask right now, but I'm not there very smart, so I'm not going to put a mask on. I'm just going to put the lighter fluid on like that, close it down, and I'm going to use the same brush that I use the alcohol on, because I know this brush works well. And lighter fluid, just like the alcohol, will evaporate, but what lighter fluid will do, it'll take that gum off without a problem. I'm just going to do the whole darn thing with lighter fluid. I should have done this in the first place and I wouldn't have been farting around with the alcohol. But I thought I would be fine, but I wasn't. So lighter fluid is man's best friend. Lighter fluid and Rodico, two things that are man's best friend. So I'm doing the other side here. And just scrubbing it with lighter fluid here. And again, this is stuff that will come off easily after you're finished with it. It'll evaporate. Lighter fluid is evaporative tape. I'll get some watch paper. I get these. I bet these goggles or glasses or whatever that I have that they're they're right in the way and they piss me off because I'm always trying to get something and they get right in the way, which I don't like. Does that lighter fluid take that stuff off? Yeah, that's pretty good. There's still a little bit here, like this stuff right there. What is that? What is that? It is something. I'm going to put a little more lighter fluid on here, just a bit. Because I'm a little pissed off that this stuff, whatever it is, seems to want to stay. It's right here. Just let it sink in here. It's funny, when you put a crystal on the watch, you're not going to be able to see most of any inconsistencies on the crystal. Because the white backing of the dial washes out anything that's wrong with the crystal. It also gives it a bit of a vintage look too. Eh? So, A, I said A, what the heck, you think I was Canadian or something. A, yeah, that's not too bad. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. That's enough. I don't think I can get any more of this off. And I don't want to break the crystal. All right, that's good. The lighter fluid is all but evaporated. It's funny how they say it's all but evaporated. It's actually just all evaporated. So these are the stupid friggin' glasses that I keep hitting that I have hanging up over here. And they just get in the way. I need to find another place for this so it doesn't bug me like that. But it's so convenient to reach over and grab them. So there's the paper, the wash paper. And I just wipe off the last part here. And really there's no lighter fluid left. It just evaporates super fast. Faster than alcohol. And after you've got it evaporated, then we're ready to do the old GS crystal thing. So I'm just going to leave that down like that crunch this up and now it's time to put the crystal on crystal city 
So how do you put the crystal on, you ask? Well, why don't I tell you? So the first thing you do is get out the GS crystal tube. I got, I think, four or five of these. They're really good. And you need to have this, which is the bezel. I gotta get low and dirty here doing this, okay? Let's just get in here and get deep and dirty. So the first thing I do is throw the bezel off to the side. <laughs> Let's clean off the edge of the bezel. I've already washed this and cleaned it, so I don't expect there to be any, if any, much of anything on this thing, okay? So that's done there, right? So, and this is the crystal, and this just is gonna pop right in without a problem. So I'm just gonna put this crystal, I'll leave it on the, on the paper here. And I think, I'm looking at the crystal, and I think it's gonna need cleaning in the future. I'm gonna wait till I put it in the bezel and see if I'm gonna clean that anymore, but it seems to be, the inside seems to be really nice right now. We just check this to make sure there's no problems. Yeah, the inside seems really nice. The outside still has some issues, but the Radico will clean up most of that. But let me get that crystal on. I've worked hard. Hard. All right. So you take this here. I always use a little piece of wash paper here. I've got a bunch of wash paper here for some reason, so... And then you take this off, and there's a little needle on the end here. Right there. And the minute you take that needle off, the glue starts going. So you want to be quick about this. Wipe some of the glue off. And then you got to get in close. So i got to put my goggles in like this. And i got to get in close, because if you don't get in close, it's not going to work. So you do that, clean it off. Jesus, there's too much glue coming out right now, so you got to clean the glue off. You can't let this glue come out like it's like it owns you. And then once the glue is ready to go, okay, screwed that up. I, you could watch me fart around with this glue. I'm having fun. <laughs> it's like when you take these things off, the glue always spits out. I'm not sure why, but it wants to come out every time this glue has been sitting there for months and sure enough you take the end off and bam glue comes out and you can't have it come out like that you got to clean it up and you got to wait until it slows down a bit once it slows down you can start the job but before it slows down you can't start the job now if i can somehow get this glue thing to do inversion here oh that's not too bad it slowed down a bit, and then once you slow it down enough, then you can start applying the glue to the crystal, right, right like that. There we go. And I'm going to just go right around the edge here, like this. I'm hoping this is in camera. And I'm basically rolling the, the bezel along here, and allowing the glue to stick to it. All the way around like this. I should have probably put a mask on because you can inhale a lot of this crap. And once you get it like this, you got to let it dry for a few seconds, okay? So clean off the end of this thing quickly and then grab the end and then stick it in. Man, this is a pain in the ass. This glue is actually really good. It's just painful. I'm wiping it on my gloves. And I just, I let it hang like that. I stick that thing in like that. And then I grab a piece of paper again, and I try to clean the edge of it before I put the cap on permanently. So just clean the edge like that. So you got most of the leftover glue is gone, see that? And then you can just push this straight in, like so. Like that, and then you're done. And now, the glue will sit for a little, a few minutes, like a minute or two, and the instructions even say, let me see if it's, says highly flammable oh yeah harmful if in inhaled well i did that don't let it contact your skin oh, i did that irritating the skin did that toxic to aquatic organisms didn't do that do not breathe vapor too late <laughs> nice 
you're supposed to let it dry for a few seconds and then after you've got it dried when I don't want this stuff on my crystal though then I put this crystal in like this I'm gonna take my gloves off because I don't want a mess and make sure that the crystal is in the bezel it slipped out right there so I gotta make sure that that crystal is sitting in the bezel okay there we go I think it's in let me have a look here I'm looking for high parts I think we're good I think the crystal is in the bezel I don't see a high part on there just push this down like this and we are good folks so the crystal is now in I can clean that up after so I will let this dry overnight but this is going to look beautiful in this pocket in this vintage pocket watch and this is the vintage pocket watch we're talking about still taken away like it like it owns me and this is a really cool case that it had it didn't have hands it didn't have the crystal and yeah I did breathe in some of that crap so hopefully I've got tolerance to not breathe stuff in like that too often anyway so that's it GS hypo cement hypo hypo anyway there's the uh, instructions on how to glue a crystal in hope you, you like watching me try to stop the glue from running but that happens I think every friggin time I'm not sure why so the next thing I got to do in watch making um, after I get this glued in I will go around the edge and clean up any glue that's coming out of the edge of the bezel but it looks pretty clean looking at it right now it looks pretty good so I'll just put that aside you can put a weight on top of that by the way I've often done that when I'm gluing in a crystal I'll take this here and I'll grab one of my uh, very heavy weights like this let me show you here I got a big anvil over here and I often just take the anvil and put it on but I'm not sure if I'll do the anvil today but I can do like a bench block or something I'll grab a bench block like this like this and just put it on top of the crystal which keeps it down I don't know if it's necessary but just just like that right and it's going to keep it down and out. so I'll move this out of the way and I'll put the um, anvil on it but put some paper use some watch paper on top of that like that and then just put the anvil down um, and like that and I won't have to use this for a while maybe not till tomorrow so because I'm almost done I've been doing watch repair all friggin day I'm getting worn out yeah, that's so hypo cement it's really good so hyper hypo and what I was going to tell you is that the next job I have if you recall I was working on this watch here a week ago and it's in pretty darn good shape and the pallet fork is in there now but the pallet fork I had I had added shellac to the pallet fork so that it would um, there's two things for this watch the shellac the pallet fork so it should be in great shape and keep an eye out for that that fourth wheel seconds hand right you don't want to fart with that so but I look at this watch now there's the new there's the pallet fork and I put a tiny bit a very tiny bit of uh, shellac on the back of that pallet fork just to hold that from falling in and I'm looking at it right now and it's still there no no issues at all so what I'm gonna do and let me just see if this if this uh, pallet fork snaps back and forth I can't remember whether I left or kept the uh, tension on yeah so that's snapping back and forth nicely there we go so next job I'm gonna do this tomorrow is to actually um, turn this around the other way so I don't hurt anything the next job is to basically clean the balance and then reassemble everything and so that should be fun and this this watch here uh, will require me to solder on a dial foot so stay tuned for that baby that's gonna be a tough job I haven't soldered on a dial foot in a little while so what I'll end up doing is soldering on a couple practice dial feet and then I'll do the real the for real dial foot so you don't want to do you don't want to practice on the for real thing 
sounds that sounds so stupid anyway so the job here I had to do that I had a guard stem depth needed to be addressed as well the depth of the stem that's not too bad I don't think and then the dial foot needs to be done I just left notes in there for me in case I lose my memory and forget what my, what I'm doing so I'll just put that aside anyway that's that let me put this down here you see if this watch is keeping time it's running a little bit slow so this one my old watch needs to be sped up a bit no actually it's running fast it's running fast folks so let me just pull this out here for a second and have a look running fast so it has never been regulated so I can slow this puppy down this would be going that way which means the star is going to go this way that's likely going to slow it down considerably there we go slow that puppy down and now that i've slowed it down slowed it slown it down i'm not sure what the plural of slow is or the past passe composé the past imperfect of slow <laughs> does anybody know man am i ever yappy today holy jesus shut up so i want to move the time or what do we got here i gotta move it back a bit actually what does what does it say it says oh it says almost 20 after so i had to slow it down a bit i think i slowed it down too much well we'll keep an eye on it the other thing i can do is actually put it on the uh timing machine to see how far off it is but i just want to let it run so let it work in let the dial train work in let it run doesn't matter how well it's timing anyway so so that's it jd thanks for watching my channel i said walking i meant watching there i am there ugly mug thanks for watching my channel thanks for subscribing shout out to sunny again uh, thanks for all the tips out there i've been very shout out to jerome out there who gave me that sacrifice watch that sacrifice watch and the uh, the actual balance uh, not the balance staff the uh, pallet fork the straight pallet fork is in that watch right now running so that was an 1883 movement i think and it's it works it's amazing works so a lot of work today a lot of stuff went on um i want to show you a few tools later on or right now before i cut out but i'll just do a new video and say funky tools okay I'll see you later. Thanks. Have a good night.